Hey neighbors, it's your buddy next door, Mason Stewart, and I'm excited to be back in the booth with each of you today. Um, this week is going to be a really interesting week to talk about as we go through the weekly recap. And then jumping over to our food adventure for the week, we've got a really fun one that I'm excited for. So make sure to stay tuned, it's going to be a great episode. But like I said, jumping right into the weekly recap, let's go ahead and let's start with actually this podcast and everything with it. I messed up my scheduling um, last Saturday, and I scheduled stuff for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, rather than Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is what I typically do, and I typically give you guys a teaser on Monday. We're going to get back to doing the teasers on Monday, so make sure to keep an eye out on all my socials for that. Now, um, the big news for me this week as far as voiceover is something that happened yesterday for me, actually. So I mentioned last week how um, I had been getting kind of under the blues, right, about everything, and I was able to have a great talk with my dad. Well, I was able, um, as many of you know, I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I was able to go on a date with my wife uh, to the Mount Timpanogos Temple in American Fork. It's a beautiful temple. Um, able to just take some time, get away from the world, and be able to really think and, you know, kind of call upon God in a more sacred setting. And for myself, that's a big deal. Um, and so it was such a great opportunity to be able to go. And I had the great impression while I was there, um, something that my dad told me um, when we were talking. And it came to my remembrance during this temple trip. And that was, sometimes we need to set a goal and keep working towards that goal. And then if that goal doesn't get hit, maybe then we know that it's time to throw in the towel or move on to something better. So that's what I'm doing. All of my pay-to-plays for voiceover right now um, expire next June or next May, one of the two. I can't remember. Either way, I've decided I'm going to give it another year. I'm going to push. I'm going to do workshops. I'm going to take coaching. In fact, there's a workshop that I signed up for um, to work with Jennifer Hale. Uh, she's a fantastic voice actress, has done stuff on Overwatch, has done stuff on XCOM and various many other cartoons, TV shows, commercials. She is a big player in the industry, doing like a little four-week course with her. So I'm very excited to do that. Um, but like I said, I'm putting everything into it. And so I just wanted to give all of you a heads up. Come next summer, if voiceover is not become a big enough thing for me um, financially and sustainably that I'm going to need to move on from it. That's very hard for me to say because I love it. I don't want to give up. But there comes a point, my wife and I, you know, we're wanting to have kids here in the near future. Um, I don't have the greatest corporate job right now. And so it's a matter of trying to figure out if, if me putting all this effort is going to be worth it in the end. Um, surprisingly enough, my wife and I have done really, really well financially um, throughout our lives. I'm very grateful for that. We have a very limited amount of debt. Um, and our debt is actually a accrued mostly through voiceover and getting ready and doing all the pay-to-plays, different stuff like that. And so that's why I need to find... A I need to I need to better myself. I need to get more into the industry. And I'm giving myself a year time limit to do that. And if I don't hit it, then I need to move on. Or else that debt's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So I need you all to understand that come next summer, if I'm not doing this, I will be doing something else. Whether that's full-time Twitch streaming, whether that's doing casting for Overwatch 2, anything like that. That's the kind of things that I'm aiming to, to look to do going forward. And maybe, maybe I won't be making YouTube videos, and maybe I won't do, be doing a podcast, but you'll definitely be seeing me around. I'm not going to just disappear into the ether. I'm not going to let like one little small hiccup and voiceover not working out for me if it doesn't work out, because the, the opportunity is still there. There's still a whole year. we still got a ways to go. But I just wanted you to all understand, and I want you all to understand as well, that I'm grateful for all the support that I've been given uh, throughout this process and throughout this journey. It's been amazing. I've learned so much. I've met so many great people. I'm not ready to give up, and I'm not going to. But this is the moment. This is the year that I'm going to make things happen. 
So watch out, world. Here comes Mason. So like I said, that was the big news uh, for me this week. Um, as far as weekly recap, on my personal life, not outside of voiceover, um, my wife and I went and we got some needed upgrades for our home this last weekend. So what we did is first and foremost, we went and got a water softener. So what this does is Utah in general, Utah in general has a very high mineral content in their water. And those minerals and those things start deteriorating pipes really, really badly. Well, uh, when you're deteriorating pipes, obviously things go wrong. We want to avoid that as much as we can. So we're getting a water softener. Uh, that should be delivered in the next two weeks. That uh, was exciting. It wasn't as expensive as I thought it would be. So that was that was thrilling as well. We were able to... Uh, the reason we did it this weekend is because everybody's doing their 4th of July sales, right? Get stuff on, get stuff a little bit cheaper. Second thing that we did, and it, it hurt me, <laughs> um, was that Melissa, my wife, who you saw in our last week's episode with the Hot Ones, uh, has some uh, family history of back issues, and she's been starting to have some back pain. And it was also time for us to get a new mattress as well. So we figured... We need to get something that's going to be able to help her, get something with an adjustable base, something that we can adjust as needed. Well, as I'm describing it, you can already tell that's a fancy mattress. So it cost a, it cost a good chunk of money, um, but we had saved up for it. Um, we're going to be sitting just financially perfect for it, which is exactly what we need. But we got a sleep number. I'm very excited for it. We're not going to be able to get it till August, though, because everybody else had the same idea we did and wanted to get a new mattress um, over the 4th of July weekend so that they could get everything that they needed. Oh, speaking of 4th of July, I'll probably post my teaser still, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Teaser will still be coming on Monday. Um, other than that, it was a pretty average week. Um, I think the other big thing to note is my wife and I noticed that we tended to, um, when we cooked dinners and stuff, if we were cooking like an actual meal, we tended to make a lot more than we needed to. Um, and then we're terrible with leftovers. We really are, you know. Um, it's just kind of one of those things. I don't know what it is about it, but I don't like eating leftovers. It's just my thing. Anyways... Um, so we decided we're jumping back on with HelloFresh. My corporate job has like a discount through them right now. So, uh, we're doing that. Um, it's been great being able to have some pre-portioned meals come, uh, not wasting food, but still feeling full after we eat. It's fantastic experience. If you haven't tried HelloFresh, it's fantastic. Give it a shot. Uh, there's a bunch of other dinner boxes too, like Dinnerly and Every Plate that are a little bit cheaper if that's what you're looking to do. So make sure you take a look at those. All right. Well, now, I think that's it for our weekly recap. I don't have any great words of wisdom this week, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, something just floated past the camera. Look at that, there it goes. Woo! A little dust, a little dust boy, got him. But it's summer, I hope you are all enjoying your summer. Things are going great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to a quick cut. I'm going to go get our food adventure ready to go, and I'll see you guys back here in just a moment. Hey, neighbors, guess what? Our... Food moment of the week got derailed a little bit because I did not realize that Mexican pizza was still sold out. People are going crazy over this Mexican pizza thing ever since Doja Cat got Taco Bell to bring it back. And I was like, I want to try it out. This is what I want to try. So I was like, I'm going Taco Bell today. Our Taco Bell is really weird. Uh, they're very understaffed. So they're only open from like 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I was like, okay, I got to go to Taco Bell. I'm going to get there. They're still sold out. So... But I knew there was another promotional item that Taco Bell was doing. They're doing this thing called a cheese it tostada. Think about a tostada, right? You get your refried beans, you get your meat, you get your cheese, your lettuce, your tomatoes, your sour cream on top, and you eat it, right? That's a tostada. But this one, it is legitimately a giant cheese it. Like, it's still square, it's got the edges, it's made by cheese it. It's a giant cheese it tostada. So I was like, hey, that'll be a good backup plan. There's two different things I can get there. So I get in line. Uh, they're out of that, and they're one of the stores that is not doing the cheese at Tostada. So I had to really think on my way home, figure out what to do, and I knew what I needed to do because uh, my favorite drink, my favorite soft drink in the world is Baja Blast. I love Baja Blast. Um, 
And you can get Baja Blast, Baja Blast Zero. Um, it's out in stores right now because it's summer, but they're also doing uh, these new flavors as well. They have a pineapple one and a mango one. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go stop by the gas station over by my house. I'm going to get the pineapple and the mango one. I'm going to try them out. Well, turns out my gas station only has regular Baja Blast and the mango one. So we're not going to try the pineapple one today. This whole food moment has been a mess this week. I'm so sorry. But guess what? We've got the mango. What, what do they call this one? Baja Mango Gem. Baja Mango Gem. It's very orange. It looks very delicious. I'm a big mango fan myself. So let's give it a try. Let's get some nice ASMR starting sound. Ooh, there it is. That definitely clipped in the audio. I could see it. <laughs> but, first impression, you got to give it the smell test, right? First impression, it smells like mango. It smells like a good fake mango taste. Because there's, there's bad fake mango and there's good fake mango. So, uh, let's give it a shot, shall we? One more taste, hold on. I think they did a really good job with the mango taste. The mango taste isn't overpowering. You still kind of get those citrusy notes that you expect from a Mountain Dew. Um, I will say it's a little underwhelming. It's honestly a little underwhelming. Yeah, it's underwhelming. It's a very mild flavor. If you're looking for a mild flavor that doesn't necessarily taste like Mountain Dew, this is going to be a good shot for you. Uh, mango gem, uh, pretty good. Um I'll try to get something better for next week's food moment, guys. I really apologize. I thought I had backups on backups, um, and they continued to fell through, but that's how life goes sometimes. Sometimes backups fall through, and we have to pick up the pieces and figure something out on the fly. Um, so I'm going to leave that with you guys. Thank you, neighbors, so much, and I will see you guys next time.